Today, Ambassador Long Dan announced Chinese support for the North Korean claim that they did not intentionally launch the missile that sank the Walsh. We are monitoring these developments while continuing to seek a peaceful resolution. Make no mistake, the Chinese People's Republic will employ all means at our disposal to protect our interests in the Asian subcontinent. Our intelligence estimates that the current number of Korean troops massed at the border runs as high as 200,000 men. Monty? Montgomery Lewis, The Times. Do we know what the possible North Korean strategy will be if diplomatic efforts fail? We've known for decades that the NKA would move to capture Seoul as quickly as possible, regardless of the cost. And that is how our defenses are structured. But with the capital less than 40 miles from the border, and well within artillery range of the big guns, it is clear that war would be catastrophic in terms of damage done and lives lost. Fisher, I know you think the shortest distance to solving this problem is to go after Shetland. You might be right. Unfortunately, the diplomatic situation surrounding the Walsh incident is not softening. We are less than 24 hours from open war on the Korean Peninsula. We've located the battery that launched the missile against the Walsh. If there is any credence to the North Korean claim that the launch was unintentional, we need to prove it, and fast. I've been reverse engineering the data you recovered from Zerkezi's computer in New York. Zerkezi's algorithm is an advanced extrapolation of the mass kernels made infinitely more complex by recursion through Dvorak. I think that if you can access the BIOS memory of the missile launchers at the battery, I should be able to ID a fingerprint that the algorithm would have left on the system. You'll be doing a halo insertion into a forest two clicks east of the battery. You'll enter the battery's secure perimeter and infiltrate via the main air shaft. The battery itself has been around since World War II, but intelligence and satellite imaging show it's been retrofitted several times since then. We have some limited mapping data. We don't know what you'll find. Since the destruction of the Walsh, the USS Ronald Reagan has assumed CNC duties for the battle group in the Yellow Sea. Our fleet is on red alert. In case of war, we are prepared to conduct precision sorties against high-value targets aimed at reducing North Korean coastal defenses for insertion behind their advancing front. If intelligence indicates that the Koreans are picking a fight, then it's a fight they'll get. Anyone in that battery, when the whistle blows, better find himself a tin hat and a Bible. Japanese ISDF has been instrumental in determining that the missile that sank the wars was indeed fired from this battery. You have the complete support of all branches of the Japanese self-defense force in order to determine the rationale for this insane move by the Korean aggressors. We do not have the capability to strike the facility directly, but ISDF will use any means at our disposal to interfere with their capabilities in the event that our great American allies are forced to declare war. Fisher, it's starting to look like war is unavoidable. JCOS is asking all sources for current division level intelligence. So, besides stopping World War III, is there anything else I can do for you this evening? The base commander should have up-to-date intel about NKA divisional strength down the Kaesong Moonsan approach. I'll try to schedule an appointment with the secretary. Fisher, since everyone is asking everyone for intel, I'd love to have a few chips at the big table. What can I get you? Looks like this battery has repair and maintenance capabilities for mechanized warfare support. Any shipping or repair logs you can recover would be a big help. I'll find what I can. It's just not that hard to count eight giant brains. Look, I will double check. But if you screw this up, I'm going to have to report you. What's up, everyone? Sinistrain here. One back at you with more Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Mission Number Seven Battery. This is played on the expert difficulty mode for the PS3 HD Collection Edition. Uh, hopefully no alarms, no alerts, uh, complete stealth, just how you guys like it. I am live streaming right now. There are currently 41 members watching me while I'm playing this. I've actually been playing this mission for a while now, but uh, there's just been, you know, all kinds of things that have just went wrong every single time that I've been going through this mission. And I'm praying to God that this is the one 
this is the one to rule them all, I am hoping, because I, I, I pretty much told him in, a street, in the stream, this is the last time I am playing this mission today if I do not get this right. And let me tell you, if that means I have to be extra patient, extra careful, and make this dragged out to like 30 or 40 minutes, well, so be it. I am not going to take any chances on this one, and I am going to get through it nice and 100%. Let's do it. Good work, Fisher. Looks like they track shipping and repair through four separate departments. Gotta love military bureaucracy. See if you can get the logs from the other three. Now serving number 67. Alright, so we got three logs to get. Um, well, obviously we're gonna get those on the computers. Now we got two sleeping guards in here that we really don't need to worry about unless we make too much noise. However, they should not be sleeping on the job. Since this is a missile silo, I don't think that's a good idea. But we're going to go ahead and let them keep sleeping that way, you know, their own people can kill them later. Alright, so we got a guy right here. Can tell exactly what he's doing, but we're going to wait. We're going to be patient. Like I said, this is the one playthrough to rule them all. Obviously, we've got a camera right there. So, we're just waiting on this guy here. Who is uh, literally taking his sweet ass time. Every time I come into this room, it's always different. Sometimes he's taking his time, sometimes he's not. Sometimes he goes another direction. What's in all the boxes? Oh my god! No! Yeah, yeah, shock and awe. Just answer the question. What's in the boxes? I swear, I, I don't know. It, it's just my job to guard the room. Fine, then tell me something you do know. There is a, a, a hatch in the corner. It leads to the subfloor under the loading dock. Really? Ha! Alright, so it looks like we have a new infiltration method right there. However, before we do that, we need to go ahead and get the second log from the computer, which is actually in this room. As you can see, there's another method to go downstairs. So, the game gives you plenty of options. So, and of course, they always let you choose whatever you want to do. And I'm going to stick with what Sam Fisher would do and go the infiltration method. Alright, you keep listening to your country music there, boy. Because we got a mission to do. Control room take over. Who's in the control room? How should I know? So what? We're just going to leave the missile hanging there? Orders. Deliver cargo to loading bay at facility 27-290. Nothing in there about working a bunch of cranes that we're not trained on. Fair enough. Alright, so this uh, area can be rather tricky. If you're wanting to go through this section without taking out any of the guards, definitely uh, it's all about timing and placement and whatnot. Now, if we would have went the other way, we could have easily taken out the guards. However, we're going to be sneaky and maybe use a sticky cam to kind of distract the guards long enough for us to do what we need to do. As you can see, he's right there. We're going to wait till he turns around, and uh, then we're going to actually make our move. And you pretty much you got to do it flawlessly or else you're not going to have enough time to do it right. All right, here we go. I hate when that happens. You get stuck and it won't let you jump. In the beginning, it should mess you up too bad, though. Alright, here's where it counts. Wait till it gets in the area. 
someone moving around out there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. All right, looks like we made it. Uh, he did get a small glimpse of us. Like I said, it's all about the timing. Uh, I'm sure it probably also depends on the placement where you put the sticky camera too, so that they actually have to walk farther away. But it seems like uh, for what we did, it worked out for us. Nothing wrong with a little diversion here and there. All right, we're past the camera. Right, we should be able to go right through it now. We're still looking in that area and we don't have to worry about the cameras anymore. Alright, so you could obviously go down that little hole there, but we're not going to worry about that because I feel that this way is definitely faster and better all right so we air for that guy no one else patrols this area so we don't have to worry about any other guards Alright, so far so good. Let's see if we can give it up. Nice and quiet. The way I like. Alright, I don't see anybody. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm talking to some of the guys on the YouTube stream, and this is definitely, uh, one of the missions that I never want to do again, ever, in my life. So, and most likely this will be the only mission I do today. Of the West and what is your report? We did every test we could, sir. And? And, well, there was no malfunction, sir. No malfunction? There is an $80 million warship on the bottom of the sea. Some fire missile that left this battle. The world is less than 12 hours from a war that will kill millions of people. And you're telling me that there was no more option. We, we checked everything, sir. I assure you. The only two people in this building who could authorize that launch without approval are you and I. I know I did not do it, so if it wasn't a malfunction, I want you to run every test again. Then run whatever test the captain forgot until you find out what the hell happened with my missile. Sir, yes sir, get out of my sight. All right. I think this colonel's very dirty here. Just killed one of his own men. So I think we're going to take him out as well. Don't bother with the who are you crap. We're too old for children's games. Uh, fine. What do you want, American? This battery is on the logistics strain down Kaisong Moon San. What's the divisional strength? Why should I tell you? You'll kill me anyway. It's a game of position, Colonel, and you've already lost. Do you need to condemn 50,000 men as well? They'll be your men, American. Not mine. They're not my men, Colonel, and they're not yours either. They're just men, husbands, fathers, sons. Same as you and I. Do they need to die for our mistakes? We have 8 to 1 force ratios against your 2nd Infantry Division in armor, artillery, and infantry down the length of the approach. 8 to 1? You cannot win. Kaysan Mudsan will be the breach point. And 
soul will fall inside of 72 hours. Good lord, Fisher. Those numbers triple our best estimates. Damn. I know a lot of guys in 2ID, Lambert. They're good men, but I hope their life insurance policies are up to date. All right, we took out that guy, which I think is uh, pretty much a good idea since we have to uh, use that computer that's below. As well as uh, get our third log here. Good work, Sam. One more shipping log to go and we'll have an accurate picture of their mechanized capabilities in the region. I'll find it. Alright, so there's one more guy in this room and we need to access his computer. Alright. Don't panic. I... You're well trained. I am a royal soldier of the North Korean army. Congratulations. Give me some intelligence or you'll be pushing up daisies in a cemetery full of guys just like you. I don't have any intelligence. Hey, <laughs> you just called yourself stupid. I am not stupid. I am an oil. Boy, you're worse than a washed out jarhead. Do not compare me to a cowardly American Marine. Tell me something useful or we're finished here. Death before dishonor. Boy, your grunts are all the same. Why did you do that? That technician could have answered some important questions. Like what? Like if they launched a missile intentionally. See if he has any logs or journals backed up in his office. I'll take a peek. That seals it. The missile came from here, but they didn't launch it intentionally. So that's a good thing. We can avoid a war. Problem is that someone launched the missile intentionally. Isn't that someone Doug Shetland using Zerkezi's algorithms? That seems likely, but I still need to see if there's a Dvorak fingerprint on the BIOS of the launcher that fired the missile. Alright, so we got our objective that we needed to do, and now it's actually time to head towards the missile. Alright, so far things are going pretty smoothly, but uh, it definitely gets a lot harder up ahead. And it's not that it's hard, it's just that it's so unpredictable as to where the guards are going to be, and then you've got to really think about things and come up on your feet with stuff. It's just, it can get a little frustrating, but we're going to get it this time. As you can see, that is where our objective is over there. And I think we're ready to do it. You don't have to worry about the body, you can just leave it there. I see what you're thinking, Fisher. If they're just going to throw protocol to the wind and leave the warhead case unlocked... Even detonating them won't destroy the battery. No, but it will make an awful big mess. I love your sticky shockers. Aren't they just amazing? Alright, so we gotta tap the launcher bios to chase the routing data. 
So we're gonna need to go below and actually access the system. Now this is the part that I was telling you could be very, very tricky depending on where the soldiers are. As you can see, what he's no one's even there right now, so we're gonna wait. Before you can tap into the BIOS, you'll need to open the casing. I didn't bring my crowbar. Whatever. Crowbars are for geeky video game characters. Put the launcher into its maintenance position. There should be a switch in the control room directly beneath you. Alright, so it looks like they're doing a little Gordon Freeman pun there. Alright, so this guard here. He's got many different patrol patterns. Alright, we are going to be very, very patient because I have been playing this mission too long to try to rush this. As you can see, he's going to get up. He's going to get up probably a few times. He's probably going to go right back, I'd say, in four seconds. Actually, he's heading over there. Shit. It's going to be longer than I thought. So, what could we talk about? Let's see. Now, the re oh, well, the reason I'm waiting here is because you want this guard to be in the perfect position. There is another guard that's on the other side that's right where you actually need to bypass. And it's best to go ahead and wait. Uh, as you can see, he's heading towards where we want to be right now. So, Sweet. And ladies and gentlemen, could this be the one? Could it be the one? All right. Now this guy next pisses me off. A bunch of times that I've done this level, it's been easy just to get up to him and grab him. However, we're not going to do the get up and grab. We're just going to go ahead and use a air four round. I wanted to show you him because this guy right here is the is technically considered the ugliest guy in this game, and I really wish that I could actually show you this. But look at his face. Like, the way that you interrogate the guys, uh, their eyebrows just, like, light up. And it's just, it's, the character models are just so ugly, it's not even funny. But, we finally got past this section here. And there's no more guards around, so we can actually go ahead and do our mission. Alright, that opened the casing. You can access the motherboard on the launcher itself, and recover any routing data from the BIOS. Good job, Sam. From the parts and transport requests, it looks like this facility is significantly more important than our latest estimates. Well, you know me. Always where the action is. Good work, Sam. I'm scanning the BIOS now. Yeah, that's a Dvorak fingerprint. Where did it come from? Hokkaido? The displace offices? Seoul. What? As in South Korea? Are you telling me the U.S. just got drawn into a war protecting the people that sank the wall? I can't trace it back farther than Seoul. Well, what do I do? Sweet Jesus, Fisher. The NKA just committed. They're coming across the DMZ. We're at war. Why? We just found proof they didn't launch the missile. Good Lord, speaking of missile launches, that battery just lit up like a smoker getting off an airplane. They're not targeting our ships, are they? Active radar is up. It looks like a launch is imminent. Fisher, you need to abort that missile. You got it, boss. All right, so as you can see, there's a guard over here. We're going to wait. What is that noise? Okay, we're not worried about anybody uh, in here. Took no chances this time, make sure we got close enough. 
Uh, looks like we're good so far. Let's keep it up. What a beautiful sight. Black hell! You're too late. The warhead won't arm until it's a few hundred meters from its target. If I can dig up the abort tools. Good thing. Check launch control directly under the platform. I'm on my way. Make it fast, Fisher. Flight time on that missile is three minutes. One through twelve. One through twelve. Confirmed. Engagement interface is online. Target tracking active. Check. Computer showing all greens. Check. Fire circuit shows green. Check. Code lock circuit shows green. Check. Primary target tracking readback stock. Ready for Good work, readback. Sam. Primary Those are the abort codes. I still need to bypass the override circuit from the missile control room. Hurry. The missile is closing on the USS Ronald Reagan at top speed. Uh, hold on. Did you just tell me I need to win one for the Gipper? Uh, dude, what does that even mean? Uh, no, you're right, Grim. I am. I thought I heard something for a moment there. All right, let's keep going. Come on. All right, we should be good. It, it's dust. No, but the warhead can't arm. Even if it gets past the Reagan's balance, it'll hit the hull and crumple like a beer can. Crumpling beer cans? That's what sailors are best at. It. Very funny. You need to make your way to distraction. Right, I'm on my way. We really don't need to do this, but we'll go ahead and do it. Good work, Fisher. I'm uploading the arming sequence codes for Grim. Lambert. If worse comes to worst, and I'm still here. You don't even need to say it, Sam. Alright, so now all we gotta do is, uh, evacuate, exfiltrate, and we are good to go. And we have completed this mission like a glove. Only took us about a billion kajillion times. But as we walk into the beautiful sunset, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally completed Sam Fisher's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Battery. Battery! Do, 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 Metallica! Battery! Alright, now is the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. By God, this thing better say 100% stealth, because as you all know, that was 100%. I am scared. As you can see, we got our bonus objectives, which was determine North Korea's division strength down to the KSO Prima missile in each of the missile bays. Uh, the only one that was canceled was stop the missile launch. Here we go. Uh, oh, oh, yes! We have done it, ladies and gentlemen! We knocked out 11 mini er, enemies, did this mission in 24 minutes and 46 seconds. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say. For those of you that are watching this live stream, thank you so much for watching this whole thing. I know it's been <laughs> a very, very long time. And for those of you that are watching on live stream right now, now you actually get to watch me edit it and see how I put it all together. For those of you that are not, thank you so much for watching this part. Please stick to or stay tuned for the next mission. I promise it'll be up soon. Uh, love all you guys and peace out. Bitches!